Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Phil. Welcome to Phil's Computer Lab and another video. Today we're solving a real first world problem. We're going to look at Windows 98 SE and comparing it with Windows Millennium Edition with a focus on gaming. Is one of these operating systems faster? Now, we're not going to look just at performance at the end of the benchmarks. I'm also going to uh, share my thoughts and my experiences with having used both operating systems on the same machine. The retro gaming PC used in this video is a 1 GHz Athlon with 512 MB of RAM, a 120 GB SSD, a Power VR Cairo 2 video card, and a Sound Blaster Audio G2 ZS. In terms of software, all the same drivers were used, so I installed the operating system vanilla, no updates, no patches, the latest chipset driver, the ID and the SATA drivers, the graphics drivers and the sound card drivers. So all the drivers were 100% identical, no patches, no tweaks, no changes, everything out of the box. Let's have a look at some benchmarks. First up, we've got 3D Mark 99 Max, and well, there's really no difference. I made two benchmark runs because this benchmark tends to be fast in the first run, but yep, yeah, they're both kinda at the same level. Same goes for 3D Mark 2000. In the second benchmark, the performance is a lot more consistent. You could say that Millennium Edition is a tiny bit faster, but really, it is so close, that could be margin of error. In incoming, we can also see the same performance, around 109 FPS. In expandable, it's very close. 98 SC edges out a tiny performance lead, but really, again, this could be margin of error. In Dragon, we can see under Windows Millennium Edition, we're getting a slightly more consistent performance, but really both run at 82 FPS. Looking at OpenGL and GLquick, both operating systems and in both runs we're getting 115.8 FPS. In Quake 2 we can see a very similar pattern. The first run is a little bit slower compared to the second run, but in terms of performance this is pretty much identical. Looking at Quake 3 there's also not much going on. Windows 98 SE is a tiny bit in front, but once again this is a very close call. And in Serious Sam we can see that the second run is slightly slower, but both end up running at 46.8 FPS. So looking at the game performance, it's too close to call. We can really say those two operating systems offer the same performance. So it will come down to other differences, for example, boot time. Windows Millennium Edition does boot a little bit faster because it doesn't have to load all the MS-DOS stuff. It also has built-in USB flash drive support. Now that's very handy if you're installing games over a USB flash drive. You don't have to load the storage driver. But Windows 98 SE, once you loaded the storage driver, and that's really something you only have to do once, it works just as well as Millennium Edition. But in terms of running your games and the performance, and once you're inside the game, it really doesn't matter which one of these two operating systems you're going to go for. So that's it guys, there you have it. Not much difference between Windows 98 and Windows Millennium Edition in terms of performance, apart from those other differences that are mentioned in this video. As always guys, looking for an interesting discussion down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, hit the like or the dislike button, and I see you soon with another video.